your live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. All right, the cold front that passed by us last night, bringing in even drier air across the area, very low humidity levels, which I'll show you in just a second. Uh, but also plenty of sunshine, but a little bit cooler, not as warm as yesterday where we had the record high. And so now it's stationary from Savannah through Valdosta all the way back along the Gulf Coast. And that's where all the action is as far as showers and thunderstorms. High pressure continues to dominate our weather. Just some high thin cirrus clouds coming in from time to time. So yesterday at the GS Peninsula Airport, we reached 86 degrees, breaking the all-time record on the date for yesterday. 86 degrees, so not as warm, but still way above average. 79 degrees this afternoon. That's still 14 degrees above the average and missed the record by 6 degrees. 85 degrees set back in 1945. 72, the high this afternoon. At the Asheville Regional Airport, way above the average of 59 degrees. And look at, look at the perfect example. I talk about this usually in the autumn months where we have very dry air in place like we have right now, where we cool off dramatically at night but also warm up quickly during the day with sunshine as long as it's fairly clear. And look at this, 37 to start with, 72 this afternoon, and the record high 85 degrees also set back in 1945. Pollen count hasn't changed uh, since over the last several days. Tree pollen remains in the high category, grasses and weeds are in the low category, and mold remains in the moderate category. Beautiful shot looking at live shot looking over Lake Hartwell in Anderson County. Uh, current temperature right now 77 in Anderson. It's 69 degrees in Asheville. Cool 59 though in Boone, 77 currently in Tacoa. So went through the upstate. Temperatures very pleasant outside. Almost feels more like fall than it does heading towards spring. 80 right now in Abbeville, also in Walhalla, but it's 77 Anderson, Greenville, Spartanburg, Lawrence, and also in Union. 79 in Greenwood and in Newberry and Gaffney, you're 76 degrees. So beautiful weather across the area. Nice breeze, as you can see, at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And humidity levels extremely low, only 15% in Spartanburg right now, 12% in Clemson, and also in Asheville. Very, very dry air. 80 in Columbia, 80 right now in Augusta, 75 in Atlanta, 83 in New Orleans, severe thunderstorms to the north of them. Look at the cool air to our north. 62 in Cincinnati. Nice and warm down through the peninsula of Florida, but that's typical for this time of the year. Severe thunderstorm watch continues for extreme east central Texas, northern and central Louisiana, southern Mississippi, and southwestern Alabama. Large hail damage and winds. Notice the snow up here where it's very, very cold. So it's 37 in Minneapolis right now. Forecast for tonight. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. More cloudy in this toward daybreak. Low 47 degrees, becoming partly cloudy in the mountains. Overnight low, a cold 38 degrees. Tomorrow in the Greenville, Sparberg, Anderson area, mostly cloudy skies to start with and partly sunny in the afternoon. A light and variable wind. High temperature, the cooling trend continues. Only 68 degrees, starting off at 53 at 9 a.m., warming up into the mid-60s by lunchtime. In the Asheville, Hendersonville area for tomorrow, partly sunny to mostly sunny skies. A light breeze out of the northwest. High only 62, starting off at 46 degrees warming up to the upper 50s by lunchtime. Four day plus looks like this. So on Friday, cooler weather and the cooling trend continues. In fact, just kind of a raw, nasty afternoon on Saturday as rain develops across the area. Northeast wind kicks in, so it's going to be very, very cold on Saturday, Saturday night. And even by Sunday morning, some of the rain showers could mix with some wet snow in the mountains of North Carolina, and then it dries out as we get into Sunday afternoon. Still unseasonably chilly weather early next week, but as we get into Wednesday and Thursday of next week, we warm back up again. First day of spring, Sunday. It's not going to feel like it, though.